Hey, you! Huh? Huh? Yeah, you! Hmm? You think the Donnie Bluth movies are too soft? Mother? Mother? Then you should watch The Brave Little Toaster. It's sure to scare you straight. Oh, boy, The Brave Little Toaster. I haven't seen that in years. It's sure to bring back some nostalgic memories. Well, let's put on some BLT. Hmm. I like BLT sandwiches. Except without the T. Or the L. I could even take or leave the bread. So the movie opens up on a log cabin in the middle of nowhere where some household appliances have come to life to clean up. They're eagerly anticipating the return of their owner. Apparently he's been gone for a decade, but wouldn't suspicion arise when he finally comes back after all that time and the cabin is spotless? And why are they so excited for this kid? I mean, I could see the blanket, maybe the radio and the lamb, but what kid has fond recollections of their toaster or vacuum cleaner? Although I shouldn't talk, I still sleep with my toaster. Hang on to your hats, you devil dogs, because the master bebop blaster of all time is going to give you a soul injection. run into the AC unit and get into a bit of a verbal argument. I think he was laughing at us. You know something? You're a real bright little lamp. Oh, thanks. Hey. You guys really have an attachment for that kid, don't you? Yes, he was our master. Well, that's really I also nice. wish these guys would stop now, saying master. I don't back, mind, just huh? doesn't just take it the way the film right intended back me in to. That door and everything will be the same. Real peachy keen like. Uh-huh. It's a possibility. Well, at least we try to be optimistic. Optimistic? Somebody untie the knot in this guy's cord. Why don't you just shut off? Hey, I'm real scared there, Kirby. What are you gonna do, suck me to death? What is it with you guys, anyway? You act like you just came off the assembly line. Now get this through your chrome. We've been dumped. Abandoned. But he loved us. That's right. So what? He's a kid. He has a family. They move away, he moves away. It's a package deal. So, it's back to that stupid static again. You think I don't know what's going on in here? I know what goes on in this cottage. It's a conspiracy. And every one of you low watts is in on it. Just because you can move around, you think you're better than I am. I'm not an invalid. I was designed to stick in a wall. I like being stuck in this stupid wall. I can't help it if the kid was too short to reach my dials. We didn't mean it, really.
These assholes just taunted and emotionally damaged Appliance to the point of suicide. And how do they react to this? so hard. Well, he was a jerk anyway. Our heroes, everybody. Hey, what's that? What is it? A car. So a car approaches the house. And puts up a sign saying that the house is for sale. With this, the toaster decides that it's time to go look for their master. What are you talking about? What are you... They plan a way to get into the city in full view of the rotting carcass of the AC. Yeah, I'm sure that didn't traumatize any kids. And together, we can stand against the forces of nature. Yeah? Well, how are we gonna travel? Hey, I've got an idea. We can all pile on top of the bed, you know, and then Kirby can push us. No, no, no. Hey! What about the Master's pogo stick? No, that's no good. Hey! How about we're in the refrigerator on a skateboard and Kirby can pull? Hey, how about we stop letting the lamp make suggestions? So the gang decides to ride on a chair pulled by Kirby, the vacuum cleaner. We need a longer cord. Why we need an alternate power source, I say. I don't know about you, but when I go on a cross-country adventure with my vacuum cleaner, I only trust the best. Junko brand batteries. Is... is Kirby pissing behind a tree? Is a and is Blanky trying to watch? Understand. What am I looking at? What is Kirby pissing out of? Can the other appliances urinate? Why am I thinking about this so much? Master is a man who abandoned you in a cabin for 10 years. Also, they're going to the City of Lights? Isn't that Paris? But they're clearly American? I don't know, maybe it's Paris, Texas? This happens not five minutes later. Whose idea was it to come this way anyway? Why, it was the lamps, I tell ya. Oh, yeah? Who's supposed to be the big shot navigator around here, Mr. Loudmouth? Mr. Big... Loudmouth? Yeah. Where are we, anyway? Now, look here, fellas. Just give me a second and, uh... Whoa, listen to this. It's the top of the ninth. The bases are loaded and Pee Wee races at the plate. There's the pitch. And he connects. Oh, and it's a triple play. Knock it off, you guys. We should all settle down and try to get... Jesus, it's a big fucking rock. Maybe it was gonna straight up murder radio. I mean, they've already driven one character to suicide. I guess anything goes at this point, right? And nobody crosses this line. Yeah, well, you better not wake us up at six as usual. What are you complaining about? You didn't do any work today. Yeah. Go find your own place to sleep, you little fuzzball. Watch it! Hey, hey, hey! What are you blind? That's a line. At, at. Good night. Come on. I'm not the master. Go snuggle somewhere else. I'm trying to get some. Jeez, even the brave little toaster is an asshole. These guys all hate each other. Why are they traveling together? <laughs> Get out of here! Hey, fellas, come here, look at this! Oh, hey, look at that! Look at that! Oh, look at that! Hey. Hey. What, what are you trying to do? Get out of my way! I'm trying to see! Look at me! 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 Brave little toaster makes his way to the forest, and this happens.
No, no, it's just a reflection. I'm not a flower. And he comes back to this. Help, me. What is wrong with this movie? Night two of camping. Blinky offers himself a shelter from the rain. But why is he doing this? Everyone else has treated him like shit this entire movie. A glow? Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. That's very interesting. Good night, Slothead. Good to see the lamp has learned the true meaning of Big kindness. No wonder I don't remember anything from this movie. I blocked it out by way of post-traumatic stress disorder after seeing this scene. Why is this part even here? Just to scare the shit out of kids? Well, it worked. Hope you're happy, movie. So after that, Blanky gets blown away by the wind and the battery dies. So it's Lampy to the rescue. Survive that. <laughs> what? Jungle brand batteries may be pretty bomb, but let's be real here. That was several million volts of electricity. Lampy's dead, the battery exploded, and they're all doomed. They find Blanky in a tree and Kirby... Oh, oh, bullshit! He's sucking up his own cord and that flimsy-ass branch can hold the weight of an 80s vacuum? No! No! Hey, what's up? What the heck? Oh, come on, I can't see! Get off! It's kind of fun. Now get off of my face. So they get Blanky down and they make their way to a waterfall. Kirby, no! Get the cord out of his mouth! Don't let him swallow it! Put your mop! Epileptic seizure or attempted suicide? At this point in the movie, I'd believe either one. Not dead. Yeah, where some wood to knock on. 
Coaster, you okay? Coaster! Yeah, I, uh... Give me some slack, Kirby. After surviving going down the waterfall and somehow not shorting out, they end up in a bog where Kirby gets stuck in a muddy sinkhole and drags everyone in with him. I knew I shouldn't have let you guys drive. Come on! Come on! Pull! Kirby! Oh, this is great fun. Let's make these outings a regular thing, okay? Kirby, inflate your bag! Help me! The poor guy didn't have a chance. Just... And that's it. Well, don't look now, pal, but you're about to f yourself. What? Whoa! Blanky, can you let go? Try to untie yourself. I'm not scared. Blank. Jesus! Blanky has to be the most emotionally disturbed character in any animated movie ever. All future broadcasting of any sort. We'll sign off now with the suitable tune. <laughs> Thankfully, this fat fuck, who I'm pretty sure was Medusa's henchman in the Rescuers, comes by and saves them and tosses them in his monster truck. If getting thrown up 50 feet in the air didn't break them, Kirby landing on top of them sure would. Okay, no, no, no. No way can this fat fuck climb the rope in gym, let alone a monster truck tire. I can't even climb the rope in gym. So wait, this guy goes into the muddy woods to find appliances to sell for parts? Solid business plan. Wait, if he sells electronics parts, why does he have a baby carriage? I don't believe that man's ever been to medical school. Why is he laughing like that cutting apart a sentient being? Does he know something we don't? Boy, are you some lucky guy! Wait, what was in the blender that it's leaking? Wait a minute, I feel great. You just leave yourself the bait. Why did this guy sell the two forks out of a percolator and give it a human-like figure? It's too late. We've got to operate. Just try to relax. It's a house of wax. Excuse me. The missus loved the blender motor. Was wondering if you got some radio tubes, too. Radio tubes? <laughs> Why, sure, I got a whole shipment of radio tubes in this morning. How does that fugly schmuck have a wife? You gotta hide me, I'll do anything. Bread, I can get you bread, mountains of hot cross buns. Come on, pull yourself together. Hey, I've got an idea. Oh yes, because your ideas worked so well last time. With Radio's life on the line, our heroes come up with a quick plan of action. Turn off the lights, throw Blanky on, and go... <laughs> well, it works, and this guy gets so scared seeing his reflection that he runs blindly in the dark into a support beam. Does he not look in the mirror enough to recognize his own reflection, or does he fully acknowledge that he is that ugly?
does a dog know how to drive a monster truck, let alone reach the pedals? Did I catch you at a bad time? Just wondering if you got my radio tubes. Was this fugly schmuck just completely oblivious to a refrigerator breaking down the door and a bunch of appliances running around? And where are they going? Back to their previous owners? Are they getting revenge for being thrown into the muddy backwoods? Are we missing several awesome killer appliance revenge movies? Hey, wait, what happened to the battery? How is Kirby running? That was a major plot point in the first half hour, and now we're just glossing over it. Well, whatever. They're finally at the City of Lights, and we catch up with Master, who's getting ready to go to college. Look, Mom, I'm not going to Jupiter or anything. Nope, we're saving that for the sequel. It's just college. So let me worry a little bit. I'm, I'm your mother. mother. Oh, that's probably Chris. We're going out to the cabin today and pick up, like, the old lamp and radio and stuff. I can use them at the dorm. So our heroes make their way to Master's apartment, which, if you'll notice, the address is the first hey, of a long three. series of Pixar in-jokes. They got better at subtlety later. But really, what are they going to do if Master answers? Just go limp and pretend everything is hunky-dory? No! no. If I was Master and my appliances just showed up randomly at my apartment after not seeing them for a decade, I would call the cops! Luckily. So the gang just missed Master as he made his way back to the cottage to pick them up. Not sure what took him so long, but boy is he in for a surprise when he gets there. Come on in. It's the greatest, isn't it? You guys sure did some weird stuff with your furniture. Huh? Well, what, what happened? This is... Well, jeez, somebody really trashed the whole cottage. You big dumbo, didn't you lock the doors? The master's new appliances get jealous and throw everyone in a dumpster, even though they just had an entire song dedicated to how awesome they are. Insecurities much? What's going on? Where's the radio? Where's the lamp and blanket? <laughs> Master now, comes honey, back and is determined you to find his old appliances, or oh, at least get ones so like cute in your dorm room. Go for it. Well, what are you going to read by then? Oh, I'll buy some candles. I won't read. I'll go out. Thanks, Mom, but I'm not Candlelight? You have all this cutting-edge well, technology, but you can't afford another friggin' lamp? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Appliances. Cheap appliances. Available now at Ernie's disposal. Where's a good bargain place around here? You should have gone for the new stuff. The gang ends up in a junkyard, and we have probably the best but most depressing song in this whole movie. I can't take this kind of pressure. I must confess, one more dusty road it would be just a road too long. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't seem to get started. Don't have the heart to live in the fast lane All that is past and gone And there ain't nothing you can do about it And can we talk about the death toll in this song? This one song is probably a higher death toll than all of Sweeney Todd I mean, I mean, look at this! Once took a Texan to a wedding Once took a Texan to a wedding He kept forgetting One. I worked on a reservation. Who would believe they would love me and leave on a bus back to old Santa Fe? That truck just threw itself onto the conveyor belt. Oh God! That's the third suicide in the Brave Little Toaster. I am worthless. I'm, I'm 24 years old and I've, I've done nothing with my life. I'm, I'm criticizing the brave little toaster for an internet review.
face looks just like my old blanket. I think it is my blanket. Well, that's my radio. Hey, Chris. Oh, I'm right in the lamp. Hey, Chris. So after that American Tale shit where Master and the Appliances are always right by each other but still don't get back together, it finally seems like a happy ending. That is, until the big mean magnet decides that it wants blood. Master gets thrown onto the belt, who apparently can't lift a friggin' pipe off his arm, that weak little shit, and it's up to the brave little toaster to save him. No, honey. I wanted to get crushed by the compactor. That's why I'm on this belt. Really now? Why don't you just go out and buy a new one? Are you kidding? Where could I find another toaster like this? Like that? Probably nowhere. Cut to the toaster all fixed up thanks to the care of Master. I mean, good for them, but finding parts for outdated appliances is hard as shit and pretty expensive. He probably would have been just as well getting a new toaster, but yay, happy ending. We did good, didn't we? Yep. And it all seems to wrap itself up pretty nicely without the need for direct-to-video sequels. Isn't that right, toaster? There, there are sequels, aren't there? <laughs>